Hello. Hi. Thank you for joining in today with Thirsty Thirsty with the Bells. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> We're at the park, so I left the bells. Sorry. Yes. We're at the park, and as you can see, one of us is going to exercise, and one of us is not. That would be me. <laughs> so, but we pray everyone has had an excellent week on this week, and we pray yes. that everyone will have a great week to come. You know, it's a busy weekend coming up here in the city of Mobile. So, pray that everyone has a safe and enjoyable weekend. Yes. I want to remind you also to tune in to us every Saturday from 6 to 7 o'clock Central Time for Empowered to Live with Leon and Tamika Bell. That's every Thursday, I mean, sorry, every Saturday Central Time from 6 to 7. And you can listen to us online at www.mygsrn.org. That's my, M-Y-G-S-R-N.org. That's the Gospel Sound Radio Network. Or you can download the app onto your smartphone, which is a TuneIn app, and just search for the station, My G-S-R-E-N. So, I hope you're tuning in with us. It's been great. So, I can watch it on my computer? You can't you can watch it, but you can listen. I can listen. That's what I mean. I can, can listen. listen. Yeah. I'm like, you can listen on your computer. You can listen on your computer. Wow. So, in, in your iPad also. <laughs> so, you can have the iPad and go to that website and listen from your iPad also. So, we're going to go right into today's discussion. We're going to talk about spiritual gifts. Knowing your purpose, yes. knowing your you know what your place in the body of Christ. Yes. And I want to start off with this this story, this analogy is kind of sort of leads into this discussion. Uh-huh. Um, when you're hired on a job, they hire you based on your qualifications, uh-huh. what you can do, your skills, and what you can bring to the, what you bring to the table. Every job you go on, they can hire you based on your skills and what your what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are. Whatever you, whatever your gift is, so to speak, in that particular job in the secular world, that's what they're gonna do. And the body of Christ works the same way. Mm-hmm. God has given us all spiritual gifts. Mm-hmm. He's given us all a gift that is for the purpose of the kingdom of God and manifesting His glory in the earth realm. Yes. So and I'm gonna read. Um, we can find about spiritual gifts in First Corinthians chapter twelve. I want to begin at verse seven. It says. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given the Spirit of, of the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, mm-hmm. to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, and to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another interpretations of tongues. But all of these worketh their one and the same and the self same spirit, divided to every man severally as he will. Mm-hmm. For as the body is one, he hath many members, and all members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is in Christ. For by the one spirit we are all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we bonds or bond or free, or have all made to drink in, and have all been and have been all made to drink into one spirit. And that's from first first Corinthians chapter twelve, and I begin verses seven through fourteen. So in all in a nutshell, we're not gonna go into detail mm-hmm. about each gift because that can be very long. Very long. But that's, a do, long teaching. that's a long teaching. Yeah. That's a long teaching. Mm-hmm. So, but we do want to make, make you aware of where it can be found in the Bible, so that on your own personal study time, you can take the time to go back and look at each one of those spiritual gifts and see which one God has given you, because we all have one. That's right. Everyone has at least one gift. That's right. Some may have two, some may have three, may have five, but everyone has at least one, and that's the gift that God has given you. To perform whatever work he needs done for you. And one way to really help you discover your, your gift is to define what's your purpose. That's right. You know, jump in here anytime. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> what is your purpose? Why did God put you here? What is it that God wants you to do? Because your gift will directly complement your purpose. Whatever reason God has put you on the earth is if he put you here for healing, if you're a doctor, Dr. Bell, you know. <laughs> if you are a doctor, 
and he, he puts you here to heal people, then he's probably going to give you this gift of healing for that to happen. Right. Each one of the gifts carry a, a different a different mantle, a different um, calling, a different purpose. Mm-hmm. So it's important to know when you get, begin to study these spiritual gifts, and there, there are nine of them. You have three that say something, three that do something, and three that reveal something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those are the nine gifts. And whatever God has purposed you to do in this earth realm, your gift will directly parallel correlate to whatever your purpose is. And you know, you, you also need to be aware of the, the fact that you will most likely be attacked in that area. Yes. Because I know a lot of people like, I don't know what my purpose is, I'm not sure why I'm here, what I'm supposed to be doing, and that's, that's hard, especially for our younger people trying to find their purpose. But you have to know that the enemy wants to take your purpose. He wants to take your gift and he wants to pervert it for himself. Exactly. So you'll find that the area that you're gifted in, geared towards your purpose, is usually the area that you will be attacked in. And for example, it's kind of like the main person on your job who aggravates you, who upsets you, who you go home and say, oh, you know, that person. That's that your person assignment. is usually, <laughs> it's probably your assignment. Either you're supposed to pray for him or her. Either you're supposed to 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 do something for them, serve them. You never know what the problem is, but they're usually your assignment. Yeah. You know, um, I had a young lady that tell me, I just I used to love people. I really used to love people, and, and, and people used to bring me so much life and so much joy. I used to love people, and then when she went through a series of hurts from people and people she loved very much, and just just a series of church hurts, she began to say. Oh, people. I don't like people. Oh, people. Oh, people. I hate people. People just da 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 And she started to become, to become introverted. And so that was the area that God wanted her because she had such an encouraging and empowering mm-hmm. spirit that the enemy wanted to take that yeah. and, and use that 